I don't know about the Celtic tradition an awful lot, uh, but uh, I suppose it would, for me, be absolutely in James Joyce's Dubliners that that this was a collection of stories that I thought was the top. <laughs> this was a masterpiece. Uh, although there are others that... Uh, I found very interesting uh, because of where I lived in Belfast uh, that when I began to think even of writing that there was a a writer of beautiful sensibility called Michael McLaverty and I thought vaguely well if he's called McLaverty and he can write and he's from Belfast this might be a possibility in the same way like if you were called George Best there would be a possibility that you could have some success uh, but as for thinking in terms of Celtic short story like a big academic bracketed and uh, comp- compartmentalised thing I, I, I don't that's not the way I think I think in terms of yeah that's a great story uh, I love that story. That story moves me. Or uh, look at the language in that story of Joyce's. It's just great. Stories like The Dead are uh, the greatest stories ever written. Uh, if you were to compile your top ten uh, list, I suppose there'd be about two or three Irish people in it. There would be uh, Americans, there would be Russians. And they seem to have the story, the short story, as their own kind of territory. And I don't know why that is. Yeah, I think that when you're writing about serious material, uh, for instance, the last collection of stories was called Matters of Life and Death, it can really only be seen in, in my kind of writing through an individual and uh, you begin to hope that that individual telling of that seriousness will multiply up to be a kind of universal thing that the, the story which opens the collection is called On the Roundabout and I would have hoped that uh, there would be something of 30 years of pain and misery and suffering all concentrated into that two and a half pages um, and that the reader will read that story and and see the the kind of map of, of terror and the map of uh, anger and hatred that exists between two communities and to see that... Uh, the kind of Chekhovian thing is somebody said to Chekhov what are you trying to say and he says gentlemen we can't go on living like this so that that in that one story you see we can't go on living like this I think that to write about the troubles uh, is almost is very natural to me because what happened was that I was reared in a time of peace, or, or a time when nobody was being killed. Uh, there was a time of sectarianism and of no jobs for Catholics, no houses for Catholics, things like that. So the, 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 the kind of ferment was there. But when it broke into killing uh, and bombing, uh, I was at that stage thinking in, like a writer. And I think that there would be a a sense of responsibility that you must write about this. It took an awful long time. I I mean, uh, the first novel was Lamb, and I thought it was like a kind of um, image of the whole problem Uh, in that novel where uh, a religious brother runs away with a boy and everybody kills the thing he loves and... So, so it was kind of uh, an image of stuff, whereas it took me 10 years maybe before I could write Cal, which was about actual physical violent events. Um, 
and I, I, I do think that, the, that that you find yourself in a place and you're having to reflect the place and and its shortcomings and its pain and suffering and 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 also to some extent it's 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 joys and jokes one of the things that appeals to me about the short story is that uh, at the point of reading uh, somebody sits down and reads a short story and gets up with a different arrangement of the furniture in their head uh, that it can be a wonderful thing uh, and I can think of short stories that almost uh, have changed my life in a way that, that you, you, your attitudes are different uh, and I think that's a marvellous thing that, that can happen over the space of say five or ten pages uh, whereas huge uh, novels with drums and trumpets and public things uh, are, are a different uh, kind of event uh, in that I, I love music and I listen to a lot of music and I, I think of the, the novel kind of as like a symphonic uh, effort uh, big structured uh, plenty happening and or time to work out themes, time to work out uh, melodies, rhythms, but um, short story can be as intense and uh, as moving as the string quartet, say, where you have four instruments, or even a, a, a violin sonata with a piano and a, 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 a rhythmic instrument and a stringed instrument, uh, and that's enough to, to move the earth.